This is the book of Job, chapter 37, verse, we'll start at first. Let's we'll start at verse 5. Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, thundereth marvelously with his voice. Great things doth he which we cannot comprehend. Verse 6, for he saith to the snow, be thou on the earth, likewise to the small rain and to the great rain of his strength. Verse 7, he sealed up the hand of every man that all men may know his work. Verse 8, the beasts go into the dens and remain in their places. Verse 9, out of the south come up the whirlwind and the cold out of the north. Verse 10, by the breath of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, frost is given and the breath, breath of the waters is straightened. Verse 11, also by watering he wearieth, wearieth the thick cloud, he scattereth his bright cloud. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Kohal, Loyim, La Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rachak, with your thumb, to the honors of apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the occupant across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth for faith and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Tell them why I'm to the Akwa, to the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord, willingly, this is an edifying video. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the other nations appearing like the other nations. But subscribe to this truth to you. I say shalom. This is the brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson through spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And I wanted to do a quick lesson um, on, I was coming up, trying to come up with a topic. I was going to do something about the, uh, you know, the CDC change the, and the guidelines for, um, you know, schools, but that's another topic, but I end up seeing this because this is going to affect me, but I didn't even know it was going to affect so many different states. Uh, it says, um, this is a news break app, it's out of USA Today, it says 150 million people under winter advisories as unprecedented storm stretches across 25 states. So that's half the country, and that's the spirit, that's why they say 150 million, because, you know, roughly guesstimation, it says about approximately 300 million people in America. So this is about to affect a lot of people. I knew it was going to affect us because we're in Cleveland, you know what I mean? And we usually get, uh, you know, hit with, you know, some funny weather. You know, <laughs> I remember Cat Williams made a joke. He said, one day you you, you, don't, want no, you don't know what to wear. He said, you'll have a fur coat with some Jordans on. <laughs> he said, it's just retarded out here. And it is. One day it'll be snowing. One day it'll be sunny. So, you know. But I hear, I mean, you know, I've been, had an opportunity to go meet the brothers in California and, you know, like how California is, I guess that's how Ohio is, you know, there's valleys. So, you know what I mean? That's one of the reasons they say that the weather be so weird. But anyhow, um, and then it said Texas sees power outages. So I was going to bring this out, but at the end of the day, that's why I came out with that joke, you know, uh, talks about the, the Lord tells the snow to fall, you know what I mean, to the ground. So this is the will of the Lord, you know what I mean? I mean, we, I don't know for certain if it's harp or whatnot. You know, and then you got people bitching and crying, you know. At the end of the day, like, we really ain't even having a bad winter for real, you know what I mean? Like, so, I mean, and then especially, like, the typical winters that I'm used to growing up in Cleveland. So, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, for this to be affecting this many people, like, that's unprecedented, just like with the whole, um, you know, that video that went viral with the, the truck driver that basically um, was in the semi and basically because they were, because, you know, like places like Texas, I had the opportunity to actually visit Miami. Uh, California, see more, uh, well, not necessarily, but California is, like I said, like mountainous. So it's not what you expect. You know, you'd be thinking California is so hot and it's not. Now, Miami like I said, they really had never seen any snow when I was down there. Like when they see it, like it's unprecedented for places like that in Georgia. Like when they get snow, like Georgia's just now starting to, like for the last couple of years, there's been snow. You know what I mean? Or cold, you know what I mean? But not to digress. At the end of the day, you know, Spirit jumped on me when I, when I seen this because I was like, oh, that's a video. Because I know it tells you in scripture the Lord literally deals with the weather. You know, he, you know, basically the Lord controls all things. All things are, um, been to his will, you know, even like the elder, I was listening to the elder um, today, uh, and he said, he said, it's not Esau's chip, it's the Lord's mark 
or or RFID chip. It's because it, basically this is a test of your faith. But um, I got another scripture, and I'm gonna jump into the article. So Lord willing, is edifying. This is the book of Nahum, chapter one, verse three. The Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. Which we know that the wicked, I mean, you got wicked Jakes, you got wicked heathens, but you got a particular nation that's cause labeled the wicked. You can find that in the book of um, Malachi, chapter one. You know, uh, it talks about the uh, Esau being the border of wickedness, roughly paraphrased. Back into the scripture, it says, The Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. So, like I said, this is a winter advisory notice because it's about to be a winter storm, you know, Arctic chill, you know, that is about to affect that many states again. Like I said, that's all the will of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, and call Haloyim La Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, for showing your, your, your power and your will. You know, when you really take the time to see, like, you know, the Lord's, um, Marvels, uh, you know, like like when you actually see a thunder or a lightning strike, you and do you see how and, and realize? I mean, that should like like take some pride off of you because when you, when you really realize the fact that we're like, if you ever seen lightning strike something, like you'd be like, well, damn, you know, what I mean? it makes you show you how you should feel insignificant compared to that, you know. <laughs> and then, like I said, uh, lightning, you know, you got people that got hit by lightning, you know what I mean, like. That wasn't the will of uh, uh, Thor, the, the the thunder god. No, that was the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But jumping into this article, it says uh, 150 million people under winter advisories as unprecedented storm stretches across 25 states. Texas sees power outages. It's by Doyle Rice, USA Today, 10 hours ago. It says an unprecedented winter storm continued its assault on the nation's Monday, which is today, leaving millions without power. In Texas and wrecking travel havoc across a wide swath of central and southern USA because of heavy, heavy, because of heavy snow and ice. And the time when you take the time to think about this, I know it's the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah because you just had that pagan ass fucking uh, Valentine's Day. And then the very next day is this um, idolized President's Day, you know, um, which all is idolatry. You know, you idolizing these. Fuck ass fucking presidents that don't really give a fuck about you. That like they gave them a particular day to worship them, and on on, on this particular day, like I say, the Lord <laughs> show you, you know, he's he's wrath. You know, he he fucked he fucked some people up, especially in Texas. Texas, you know, what I mean, like is the hot spot right now. And then when you take time to think about it, if you if you research anything. Uh, you'll find out that a lot of like the people that le left from New York, the people that actually had some money, they moved to Texas. If you didn't know, so you probably will see all kind of travesties and, and judgments happening in Texas. It says uh, more than 150 million people were under a winter storm warning, winter weather advisory, or ice storm warning in 25 states, stretching over 2,000 miles from southern Texas to northern Maine. The National Weather Service said. Bitter record smashing cold accompanied the storm across the central USA. Hundreds of daily record low temperatures have been or will be broken during the, this prolonged polar plunge, the weather service said. With some February, even all-time low temperatures records in jeopardy. Damn. Yeah, because they said it's something like the coldest week. Uh, uh, I know they, they was talking about it at, my, at the plantation that, I, that, 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 that I'm assigned to. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, you know, like brothers, I mean, like we be in the truth. We know like certain news is whatnot, but like I ain't gonna lie. Like as far as weather and shit like that, I don't, I don't check that out. I check out what's going on as far as uh, politically. You know, what I mean, you know. So that's why I was shocked and surprised when I got this. You know, what I mean, I, I, I heard uh, people make mention of it at the plantation, but like I said, those people they catch the bus or they are on public transportation. So of course you should be knowing what the weather's like. That you know what I mean that's just only, only common sense. Um, it says more than fifty million people could see temperatures dip below zero during the next several days, according to the Capital Weather Game. So anybody that's not like um, you know, and Cleveland has um, a pretty sizable homeless um community, you know. Uh, now, 
I will say this, I've traveled to other places, so the way, like, basically they pampered the homeless in, in my city, because, like, when I was in Miami, they didn't give a fuck. Like, I mean, they had resources and whatnot, but it was totally set up totally different. Like, they know who exactly you are. So that population of homeless in Miami is, like, monitored. Since all, all these issues were widespread Monday and over 4.4 million were powerless, according to the Power Outreach, U.S. a utility tracking site. In Texas alone, more than 3.4 million customers were in the dark as of 2 p.m. local time. Damn. Rotating power outages were initiated by the Electrical, Electric Reliability Council of Texas, or ERCOC, Monday, meaning thousands went without electricity for short periods as temperatures fell into the teens near Dallas and Houston. And that means, like, for a lot of people that probably use the space heaters, and, you know, you got to tell, uh, like, I remember uh, the building I was in prior to our moving, me moving, like, everything was connected to the, the power. So, like, the way that they had their heat system made, like, they had them individually. You know what I mean? But they didn't have a, a, a backup generator. So, whenever, like, anytime it was, like, like, often, like, maybe, like, I would say, at the time I was there, maybe like at least eight to ten times. And I was there over like two years. They would have these power outages, but once the power was out, it affected everybody's heat and air conditioning. Because the way the unit was set up, it was the air conditioner and a heater. That's why the guy crashed the semi because they don't even have salt trucks. So they don't salt the road. Um, Georgia used to be like that. So the Lord literally changed in the weather patterns of pla places that normally didn't get cold or getting cold now. You don't think it like this is something like from above? Matt Variable, Matt Variable in the Dallas suburb of Houston Texas told the Dallas Morning News his power had gone out a couple of times Monday morning. The second time it went out around 3.30 a.m. and hadn't returned as of 7 a.m. It's starting to get very cold inside my house, Variable told the newspaper. And I know how that could be. We, we just came from one spot, and we, you know what I mean, <laughs> uh, little long story short, like, it, 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 put it like this, we had heat, but we didn't have heat. That's why you got people that are used like electric heaters and shit like that. You know what I mean? Because sometimes it's not like like if you ain't got insulation, if your windows ain't insulated, all that 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 heat um, sucks out the windows, so it could be cold. You know what I mean? But I can imagine them being cold. It says um, I lived in the North for a very long time, and nothing like this has ever happened. When I lived in New York, Ohio, and Illinois. So that's what he's surprised about because he lived in some cold states like Chicago, Illinois is cold. Ohio is cold. New York are cold. Houston, where temperatures hit the 70s last Tuesday, saw readings in the teens Monday morning. <laughs> yeah, that's cold. Call a lawyer, lawyer, how much of y'all shot? Because that's funny. That just messed up everybody's fucking thing. Like they day and every day. You know how many people got, got sick? It says, Monday morning, prompting officials to advise residents to prepare for hazardous roads that could be similar to those experienced after a Category 5 hurricane. And in Texas, the storm could be a once-in-a-generation event with factoring in the brutal cold conditions. AccuWeather meteorologist Brandon Buckingham said, St. Angelo, Texas, has its snowiest day recorded Sunday, 10.1 inches. The weather service said, thunderstorm, thunder snow was reported nearly... Early Monday, as far 
south as the Gulf Coast in Galveston, Texas, and Lake Charles, Louisiana. Texas Governor Greg Abbott, Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt, and Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson each activated natural guards, National Guard units to assist state agencies with tests, including rescuing stranded drivers. In a statement, President Joe Biden declared emergency in Texas. Oh, that's what this is a little goofy broad at my job. She was talking about um, what was a federal um, emergency something. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she ain't showing me. So this must have been what she was talking about. So uh, it says in a statement, President Joe Biden declared emergency in Texas and ordered federal assistance to aid states and local response efforts. The declaration allows the Department of Homeland Security and the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, to coordinate disaster relief efforts and provide assistance, equipment, resources to those affected by the storm. Though the snow was expected to wind down across Texas on Monday, heavy snow and freezing rain were forecast to advance northeastward from the Mississippi and Ohio valleys to the northeast. The weather service said a large swap of 6 to 12 inches of snow is forecast from the Ohio Valley and eastern Great Lakes to northern New England, according to the weather service. It's a pretty long article. So uh, if you want to check that out, I'm going to let you go check that out because I didn't expect this to get that long. But this is um, out of USA Today. So j jump into these few scriptures. And Lord willing, it's edifying. This is the book of uh, Psalms, chapter 14, starting at verse 8. Fire and hail, snow and vapor, stormy wind fulfilling his word. Mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars. Beasts and all cattle creeping things and flying fowl. Kings of the earth and all people, princes and all the judges of the earth. Wasalaki, and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, for his name is alone. For his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. Verse 14, he also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, which are the Israelites, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. Salaki, so that wasn't um, Psalms 14, that's Psalms 148. Because at the end of the day, you know, like I say, if you had a spiritual eye, you could clearly see that that's the power of heaven that uh, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, the power of host that literally is doing this. You know, they was talking about how uh, weather was predicted to literally um, like calm down Monday. But what they saying is, you know, other states is about to get a, 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 a more, um, what's the word, a, um, a more severe um like more severe storm proven even though they predicted it is not up to them you know what i mean like you gotta remember that you ever like watch the news and they talked about the weather was gonna be a certain kind of way and then you get out there in this completely different way because this meteorologist you know they he he he, he trying to call himself um tracking a pattern you know what i mean the lord is is not um you know you can't you can't just put the lord in a box you know what i'm saying like they 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 call themselves tracking these um these storms, but the Lord could switch up the storm. You know what I mean? Like you know, like it's like try to like try to actually keep a a chariot like to track it on film. Like you know how rare it is for them to get images of 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 of, 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 of chariots and so called UFOs. Uh, Salakia. I mean, it's a lot of images but it's i mean like i said it's you know it's it's it's, it's not a lot as well because you know as many as be seen they're not always you know filmed <laughs> you know what i'm saying so lock you it's jeremiah chapter 10 This is Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 10. But the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh is the true power. He is the living power and everlasting king. And his wrath, the earth shall tremble. At his wrath, the earth shall tremble. And the nation shall not be able to abide in, their, in his indignation. Verse 11. Thus shall he say unto them, the gods that have not made the heavens 
and the earth, even they shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. Verse 12, he hath made the earth by his power. He hath established the world by his wisdom and hath stretched out the heavens by his discretion. Verse 13, when he uttereth his voice, there is a multitude of waters in the heavens, and he caused the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He maketh lightnings with rain and bringeth forth the wind out of his treasuries. And at the end of the day, like these, these clear cut, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even really have to break them down. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's basically the scripture going into the most high controls all these things. He's controlling this weather that, like I said, that's about to fuck up a lot of people today. <laughs> Call her lawyer, lawyer, how about you? Uh, Laura funny. Like I said, I had to think what I said. Damn, yeah, this is a story that came out of nowhere. And, we just, and then um, at the job, you know, I got this guy that I work with. It's a two third, but you know I'll be trying to give him game. But sometimes that don't that's not you know you don't don't catch the pearls before swine. But you know he been following to a certain extent. Now he probably still gonna be a nigga, but I can't say that the Lord can put the spirit on anybody. Thing is, you know he still be in the world, and I I sent him to show you how goofy he is. I sent him the information about Valentine's Day and what it's based on. He telling me about how he went out with his girl on Valentine's Day. So I was just laughing at it, and it's funny too. But I ain't gonna go into his business like that. And he was saying, you know, they lifted the curfew in our state. It's funny, too, because one of the brothers in the camp, he come on talking about this little hick-ass city, this hick-ass town, this hick-ass town. And then, like, rightly shortly afterwards, they lifted the curfew. So when they put it back, like, it's probably locked down for good. You know, I, I mean, it's so much shit coming out. Like, you find out that literally they're not trying to force the teachers to take the vaccination anymore. So the CDC then rewrote shit saying that basically it's not mandatory for them to be vaccinated to go back to in, in school learning. Yeah, they they scrambling. They don't know what the fuck to do. That's why he only thing going to be able to do is come down with that Revelation 12 and 12, come down with great wrath. Because he know if but his, his time, he, he know if, that he have but a short time. Uh, for Lockheed. This might be the last scripture, and I'm gonna end it. Bear with me for a second. This is the book of Job, chapter 38. Um,. Let's start at verse 22. Has thou entered into the treasuries of the snow, or has thou seen the treasuries of the hail? Verse 23, which I have reserved against the time of trouble, against the day of battle and war. Verse 24, by the way is the light parted, which scattered the east wind upon the earth. Verse 25, who have divided a water course for the overflowings of waters, or a way for the lightning of thunder? To cause it to rain on the earth where no man is, on the wilderness wherein there is no man. Verse 27, to satisfy the desolate and waste ground and to cause the bud of the tender herb to spring forth. Verse 28, hath the father, Salaki, hath the rain of father, or who hath begotten the drops of dew? Verse 29, out of whose womb came the ice and the hoary frost of heaven? Who hath got, Salaki, who hath gendered, gendered it? Verse 30. The waters are hid as with a snow, with a stone, and the face of the deep is frozen. I'm gonna skip verse 33. Knowest thou the ordinances of heaven? Canst thou set the dominion thereof in the earth? Verse 34. Can thou lift up thy voice to the clouds that abundance of waters may cover thee? Verse 35. Can thou send lightnings that they may go and say unto thee, Here we are. Verse 36, who hath put wisdom in the inward parts? Who hath given understanding to the heart? And that's the spirit. Because, you know what I mean? When I was reading those, you know, that's the most high talking to Job. And he was talking about what he has done. Because Job do any of this. So can Esau do any of this? Not without the will of, I mean, the power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Like it just said, it said, who hath put wisdom in the, in the inward parts? Or who hath given understanding to the heart? So, you know, it's, you know it tells you that... Uh, you know, because, you know, the the Edomite, the Red Hoover Edomite, he does have knowledge. You know what I mean? But it tells you in the scriptures that uh, knowledge of wickedness is not true wisdom. You know, he gave us, he gave them knowledge of, you know, all this carnal shit and left hand shit. And, you know what I mean? But he gave us of the hope of elect 
wisdom and knowledge and wisdom on the right hand side with the understanding of the light of these scriptures. So, you know, it's like I said, again, it's deep. You know, this this is many uh, layered. Uh, I finally understand why the apostles were saying that there's levels to this thing. You know what I mean? Because you'll have a man in the truth but not growing. He's been in the camp for years but not growing. You know what I mean? And so, you know, and then you'll have somebody that, that's young that's just, you know what I mean, that's just on fire. You know, I was looking at the brother Bakar Moff from uh, Man of Valor, and you know, I just realized how young that brother is. But he be in the spirit so so heavy. Call Halal Yim La Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. But not to digress. At the end of the day, I brought out all those scriptures to show you that literally, like it tells you, hands down, the Most High is you know the Father, the Author, you know, of 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 all things. You know, you know, that's why it tells you he's the Father of spirits. So with that. Um, Lord willing, the, mo the Most High said more, more weather and, and fuck up these people's, uh, you know, days and lives and kill them and shit. You know what I mean? All these wicked ass fucking jakes and these Edomites and these heathens. You know, Lord willingly. And with that, you know, Lord willingly was an edifying lesson. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to call Elohim, La Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rachak, with the thumb. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth for faith and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwath and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly was an edifying video. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the other nations, appearing like the other nations, but subscribing to this truth to you. I say Shalom. Till next time, Lord willingly, Shalom, Shalom, and Mawath, Lababa, Shalom.